let's continue with our project in our previous session we have seen lot of concept we have seen how to fetch the data from the api how to clear input fields once we get the data how to display search keyword and also if we are not having any fields in the api how to display the error message we have seen lot of concepts and i completely understand if you are doing this for the very first time then it will take time for you to understand all this concept so that is completely normal we all have taken time to understand the concept learn the concept and then try by ourselves so let's get started now in this what we are going to do we are going to work on this single meal if i just write here pizza click on search i will be getting this pizza image when i click on this i will be getting all the stuff related to pizza what is present in api if you see here i am having name i am having the category image ingredients and instructions how it is prepared so you can give any styling as i mentioned lot of time this project is only to learn javascript concept not to focus much on css styling first thing what we have to do we should be getting the id of that result now here if i just search for chicken let me just write different name rice search i am having two results for rice when i click on this only this rice whatever image i am having that image should be displayed if i click on second image the second image data should be displayed how we are displaying only that particular data how it is going to understand i have clicked on that for that we are going to extract something which is unique in this api so that is id in this api what we are using id is unique for every individual element for every individual item so we are going to access that id and using that id we are going to display this single meals if you have not watched previous section i suggest you to watch the previous section because in that we have fetched the data from the api now in that data we are going to fetch the id and we are going to display single meal i will come to my project now here if i just write here pizza click on search i will be getting this now when i click on this pizza only regarding pizza i want the data as of now it is not working because we have not written the logic for that so let's get started with that i will come down below this submit event listener i am going to write one comment i will just write here single meal click now on what i am clicking you can see this is my entire diff container which is having my image and meal info so i'm just going to access this variable where we are accessing our meals i will copy this let me come to index.html this diff container i am going to access i will come down meals dot what i am doing i am just going to add one listener what is that listener that is click whenever i click on that particular diff container whatever operations it is happening here that should be performed second parameter i am just going to write this callback function now what we have to search we have to search for this id now if i just come here for this diff container we have already given this attribute data meal id inside this we have access the id meal from the api let me save this i will open console i will come to my project open console i will just write here chicken search now in my console if i open i am having 25 result you can see this is the id meal and for every element it is different 
So first thing what we have to do, we have to extract this particular ID. And in this diff container, we have already given attribute for that. And we have assigned the value for every loop. You can see previously we have seen, we have used math method to loop through all the data. So each and every time this ID will be unique related to particular result. Inside this, I will just write here const. I will be creating one variable, meal info. Here I am going to pass event object. Inside this callback function also, I am going to pass this object. Dot compose path. I will tell you what is this. Now what I want to find, I want to find the ID. So I am just going to write here find. Inside this I am just going to pass one attribute that is single item. I am going to write this arrow function. Now what this compose part will be doing, it is going to return array of objects. It will be returning array of objects containing every elements in the event so whatever content i am having here everything will be displayed in my console so it is just going to return array of objects once it is returned using this find method we are going to extract the first result which is getting matched okay so we are just writing this e composed path dot find inside this i have just passed single item now let me just lock this one. I will just write here single item. Save this. Now here I am just going to write pizza. Search. I will open console. Now here I am having meals. Now as soon as I click on this, I will come here. You can see every single element I am having. History, disk containers, meals, all these things. Whatever I am having everything will be displayed using this composed path we have just displayed that one and using this find we are just passing one single item and we are displaying all these things whatever html code we have written it is just going to return as an array of object now what i want to do this is the diff container which is having our id attribute as well as this class now i just want to access this class so basically the element which is having this meal info class i just want to access that element i do not want this complete thing whatever data i got let me just show you again pizza search i will open console let me just click on this pizza now here whatever content i am having i do not want this one I just need this diff container which is having the class as meal info. I will just comment this out. Now here I am just going to search for this. If my single item dot class list. And inside this if condition, what we are just going to return, let me just return here, single item dot class list. What class list? Class list contains, inside this, I am just going to pass my class. Our class name is meal info. I will copy and inside this, I am just going to paste. So, do not get confused what we are doing. First, what we have done we have bought the array of objects of all the elements from there we are just checking which element is having the class meal info if it is not if other elements are not having then we just want to return false we do not want to print anything so we will be returning false now let me just show you the result lock now this time Whatever data we have got that will be stored in this meal info, paste, save this, pizza, search, click on this. Now when I open you can see I have got only the diff container which is having the class meal info. 
so this is very important to understand using this we have got array of object inside this find we are just passing this value and here we are checking if this single item dot class list now this single item is going to return all the objects all the elements which is present in our code and we are just checking if that class list contains mill info we just want to return that or else we are not going to return anything now if i just change this class i will just remove this hyphen i will write here pizza search this click on this now if i open you can see i will be getting undefined nothing is returned so mill info data is undefined so let me just bring this back hyphen save now we will be getting the result pizza search click on pizza now here i will be having the result okay now we are successfully able to get that element this entire element we are able to get but i do not want this entire element i want only this id data meal id so for that what we will do we will write here if condition meal info if it is true that means if we got some id let me just remove this from here if we have some data inside the meal info that means this condition will be true if we get undefined then this condition is false so if we have any data then i'm just going to create one more variable const meal id inside this i will be passing this meal info variable which is holding our entire diff container dot we are going to use this method get attribute what attribute i want i just want to access this data meal id attribute i will copy this and inside this i'm just going to paste so basically what we have done if we are having some content inside this meal info we are checking for the condition if there is some content then from that content we want to get the attribute that is data meal id now i just want to log this let me show you the result meal id save let me write here pizza search click on this open now you can see the id is 53014 if i open here also id meal is 53014 so in api for every individual result we have this unique id we are just accessing that id so using this id whenever we click on any of the result only that result data has to be displayed i hope you got this section take time to understand the concept go through all these methods just do some practical examples so that this concept will be clear to you if we are having multiple data for every element we cannot click and for every element we cannot write different logic so what we will do we are going to create one function here i am going to write function get single item id inside this this meal id is containing my id i will copy and here i'm just going to paste as its parameter below this where we have written our fetch below this find meal function i'm going to create this function function to get meal id i will just write here function function name inside this i'm just going to pass this meal id from here we are just getting this meal id basically this is the parameter we have passed and whatever content whatever id we are getting that will be the argument and using this we are just displaying the data so for that i'm just creating this function i will just come to meals api i will open this inside this if you see we are having lookup 
full meal details by id so using id we are just getting the data i will copy this link and here i am just going to write fetch inside this using backticks i am just going to paste i will remove this in place of this i will be writing dollar symbol and here i will write meal id for every different click we will have different id and here i am just going to add https now what this fetch will be returning fetch will be returning the promise and this response i am just going to convert into object i will just write here response.json let me just show you i will just log this one console dot log and inside this i will close this save here i am going to come i will just write here pizza search when i click on this i will open you can see now what i got i got promises pending again when i click on this i will come here again i am going to get promises pending so what it is returning it is returning me the promise i will just remove this let me just close here second then then again whatever data we got we are just going to display that data let me just log this console dot log and inside this i'm going to pass data save again i will write pizza search click on this open now i got meal array when i open this i am going to get the same data what i have got as of now i am having only one image for pizza so i am getting that let me just search for chicken i will click on this open now this is my meal array where we have fetched this data this one i am having 25 result but here when i clicked i got only one result for which i have clicked i have clicked on this chicken conge you can see that is displayed again when i click on this open again i will be getting different result let me just come here you can see again i will get different result for that particular meal whichever i have clicked only that result i will be getting so using this then method we have just extracted the data for which item we have clicked let me just revise what we have done from here we are just getting array of objects of all the elements from that we are just getting the element which is having the class meal info if it is not having then we are returning false and whatever info we got from that we are just accessing the attribute and we are just storing inside this variable and we have just called one function in which we are going to pass different ids as its argument and here we have created the function we are passing this parameter we have called this fetch method and again we have used the link where we are just passing the id then using this then method we are just getting the response and that response we are just converting into object and finally we are returning the data once we got the data next what we have to do we have to display all this data in our browser so for that we are just going to create another function because same function we will be using when we click on random button if i just come here if i click on this random button we are using the same stylings so what we will do we will be creating function for that instead of displaying this console here i'm just going to write add meal to dom or add meals to dom let us write add meal to dom because we are just adding only single item and inside this i'm just going to pass here meal i will save this next session we are going to work on this function we will see what result we have got and what data we have to extract and we have to display in our browser